Batty boy, CJ, feel me, I see you up on your store, pussy, yeah, we hit them all, yeah, Batty boy, I tell you in your face, you that pussy up on me, lay in me, that Batty boy with my glass, pussy, a father for father, and suck your mother, you and your friend, them next Batty boy. So, first of all, I want to say condolences to the family of the, the soldier. Um, we deeply regret their loss and the loss of his life. Um, what I can tell you at this moment is that um, the soldiers were responding to a threat, a direct threat at their lives. Um, and in doing so, um, unfortunately, um, one of the soldiers um, was um, impacted um, possibly by one of the rounds of the, the threat forces. Um, he was rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital where he was pronounced dead. We are not deterred. We remain committed to the mission in support of the JCF and we will continue in our efforts to locate the cowards who took the life of our fellow brother. Good soldier, reason with me at night and tell me say the panty. Um, that we have contacted directly so far, we prefer not to at the moment. Um, and we prefer that comes from um, the permission of the family members. Uh, Respect squad. Good soldier, reason with me at night time, tell me say you're on TikTok and make money, put your money to use. Don't, not show your money. Last night me I got on my bed, when I come off of TikTok, I threw me to drink some liquor. And I'm a house, he turned to me and said, cash away your deal, and said, I'm going to cook some food. Right there for me live. I just feel a way about the situation. I just wish the place could have come back, but it didn't look like it had come back. Said I'd come, it had come. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin, I'm a virgin. My enemy is a bad stuff to better my life. I'm a virgin. I respect him. Big respect me, I feel. Respect, I'm never knowing my respectable enough people for me to get me so annoying. Can talk to us while other soldiers that come go like them better than we and scan we, him not scan we. Kasha, I know all my name, Kasha. Say, yeah, charge here, if some other soldiers were around him, we get used to it, would have said, Mama, you know? When me see a picture of this man, in can all me a hear soldier dead, me no know who. And this man, in me depp on my life. And me I said to my son, said, the soldier were dead, when me see a picture, when me see a picture, me have to end my life. I have to end my life. Because the last word he said to me last night, cash away your dealing. He said, I cook some food and he said, I come out back. He said, I'm too far away. He said, maybe if I come out and talk to him, because sometimes out there we are reason for hours. Two, three, four o'clock, I just got on my bed. Because I'm out there and reason with him. Him alone, as that type of soldier that will come reason with me, I'm sure we say, what's on your life the better than the ghetto? Not because you live here, you have to be a part of it. You dip on TikTok and you make a money girl, buy a second hand bus and when you buy it, check me because I have a link. You see, I'm more and better in my life, you know I'm getting a party, I throw the money. Because I know it's hard for come here for ball on TikTok to make a change. So I'm ever influenced me for be a better woman and always, I know all my son, I know all my pitney them. You understand? I respect him, man. Just sorry, my condolence to him family. I'm sorry, I'm a prayer West Kingston come to back betterment. But can't live like this. The people them not get no summer. From school, like a pure shot of fire. We don't get no summer. I buy much four, must buy four bags of chicken bag. I buy ten bags of book. I buy 30 school bags, we can go show you. I keep a back to school treat tomorrow. Because enough of we have it for send my people to go to school. And the treat have to postpone because it can't be happening. What is this? My earth. What I going to do with the box of chicken back then? What I going to do? We now pay a light bill like you like can cut off. The chicken back I go waste. When people they either eat. I look for feed over 200 people tomorrow. I can't do that. We are under curfew. We have to go in. Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform 
the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Wag well, one people, hope everybody doing okay, hope everybody doing all right. Give thanks to life and the gathering. Then pay me catch your bunks. Right in the town, more walk gone because one only for people are one now. We're going for we're going. Them say soji dead and them see Indy come down there. And all the time them see Indy come come in the streets. And when police kill gunman. Me have to tell the people them say wait then a man. Soji dead in a crossfire man. You understand? Come in like a soji kill soji. But soji never have to dead you know. Cause you know me already me not put my mouth on and talk. Soji never have to dead cause a long time the man never tell soji say yo. Top come round yes, sir, man. You understand little fly about the girl we have over there, there, so Leave her alone. Is the community close spin? See that now? In dead and gone, you know. And the close spin, just I get to a new line. Yeah, man, one new line for just pin up ourself, but we talk as it is and as it might be. But we have to ask them again. We arm to the helmet. We arm to the helmet. Then they look at them when they have it. Can't stop bullet, you know? Cannot stop bullet. Yeah, people. You see, you us. But don't worry yourself. The things that I'm going to tell you, they're not going to want to come tell you. Somebody that's for rolling. You know. Me need for know, and Jamaica need for know. Why is it that nine private up on the road? Nine private each up on the road, people. Me know if I see the officer the dead. Eh? Yeah, with the nine private them out there, sit down. Then we that tell them, say, yo, don't bother go down there, 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 so. But nine of them decide to so watch on a man. We are going to go down there. And five of them bus shot. 35 rounds. Paper, 35 rounds. One little waste man. Out of the nine of them. Zin? No. Out of the five of bus shot. In bus, 15 rounds. So that I tell me, say, his state have to pay for that? No, man. Somebody need for run. Then, what's your name? Antonette. Are them a waste man here? Yeah. On the real send. If a man ends, all at 35 shot in one bus 15. All the zinc fence. You know what, people? Keep back and relax. Keep back and relax, you know. Because we have more to tell you. Know. But for now, we could go so boom and take a walk go right back down at Clarendon. Because man, they're not effort, really, you know. Now, it's a Clarendon, I want to be going to think in place. He just come from prison and the man and licking down kill him. That about two months ago he come from prison. You understand? The man in no want to be in the area. So then licking down kill him. I don't have him full name yet. So as soon as I get the birth cert, I come back and come tell you where his name. So I can move on from right there, 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 so. I link. The brother where me I always open. Look like he's zone out. Yeah. Shane, I go to an update. I'm Shane McCullough, acting senior superintendent of police in charge of the Clarendon Division. We have been carrying out a number of targeted operations under the SOE. As recently as yesterday, the two persons who were picked up in the ongoing operations and investigations have been charged for the murders and shooting in Cherry Lane, the necessary intervention and support for the victims of crime that is also ongoing. The, since the start of the SOE, we have been pursuing a number of other persons outside of the, other, outside of the two persons that have been charged. And that operation is ongoing. And we expect that during the pursuit that other persons related to this tragic incident will be caught and brought to justice in short order. So we just want to reassure the public that we are continuing the hunt for these men, whether they're in Clarendon or they're outside the borders of the parish. The operations continue and as recent as this morning, there was a police criminal confrontation that ended in one 
gentleman being injured and later pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. I would like to take this opportunity to appeal to persons who choose to engage in criminal activities and and when we go after them which we will and they then decide to engage the police in a gunfight i want to tell you that there can be only one outcome and i'm asking persons to cooperate and if you find yourself in that category please surrender and allow us to take you in peacefully so you can have your day in court we will continue to carry out the operations as needed and as necessary to ensure that the citizens of Clarendon remain safe and secure to carry out their business and live in peace. Move from the circle of the commission office because the commission have something you want to say. You hear me? In recent weeks, our security forces have been relentless in our pursuit of the criminal elements responsible for the incidents of violence in a few of our communities. Through a coordinated effort between the police and the military, we have made significant strides in dismantling the operations of these gangs. Last month, we arrested and charged a number of gang leaders across several divisions, including St. James, Westmoreland, Hanover, and Trelawney where we successfully took in custody a number of persons who had been terrorizing their communities. These arrests have dealt a major blow to the leadership and infrastructure of criminal organizations. By removing these individuals from the streets, we have disrupted their ability to orchestrate and carry out acts of violence. Additionally, our teams have seized a substantial cache of firearms and ammunition denying the gangs the tools they use to spread fear and destruction. Our efforts have not been limited to just higher level targets. We have also conducted targeted operations across all affected divisions, apprehending other key members of these criminal networks. The successes are a testament to the commitment and the professionalism of our security forces. We will not rest until we have dismantled these criminal enterprises and restore a sense of safety and security to the communities that they terrorize. The Jamaica Constabulary Force continues to demonstrate its commitment to bringing justice to the communities affected by violent crime. On the morning of August 21, 2024, significant progress was made in the ongoing investigation following the tragic shooting on the Cherry Tree Lane in Clarendon. The investigation, led by the highly skilled team at the Era 3 Major Investigation Task Force, culminated in the apprehension and charging of two individuals who are believed to be the central figures in the incident. The swift action taken by the police following the Cherry Tree Lane incident underscores the JCF's dedication to protecting the public and ensuring that those responsible for violence are held accountable. Leighton White, otherwise known as Banz, a 33-year-old man from Havana Heights, and Dushane Smallin, also known as Snowman, a 28-year-old from North Street, Maple and Clarendon, have been charged with eight counts of wounding with intent and one count of shooting with intent and multiple breaches of the Firearms Act. These charges brought against the suspects reflect the thorough and meticulous work conducted by the investigating team. Both accused individuals are scheduled to appear before the parish court where they will face the full weight of the law for their alleged involvement in these heinous crimes. This development represents a significant stride in the JCS effort to restore peace and security to the affected communities in Clarendon and to send a clear message that criminal activities will not go unpunished. The successful apprehension and charging of these suspects not only brings a sense of closure to the families affected by the tragedy, but also reinforces JCF's resolve to combat crime and maintain law and order across Jamaica. In a significant victory against illicit drug trade, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Firearms and Narcotics Investigation Division, EFNID, 
executed a major operation earlier this month, leading to the largest cocaine seizure in Jamaica's history. The raid resulted in the arrest of five male suspects, all Jamaican nationals, and the confiscation of over 5,500 pounds of cocaine with an estimated street value of over 75.8 million US dollars. The suspects charged with possession, dealing, and trafficking of cocaine remain in custody as the investigation continues. This historic seizure highlights the JCF's relentless efforts to combat the illegal firearms and drug trade, which poses a significant threat to national security. The JCF and its partners remain steadfast in our commitment to restoring peace and order in the affected communities. We understand the deep concerns and anxiety that the public has been experiencing, and we want to assure you that your safety and well-being are our top priorities. In our pursuit of dismantling these criminal networks, it is important to remember that our communities should not be held hostage by fear. The Jamaican spirit is one of resilience, vibrancy, and community. It is unacceptable that law-abiding citizens feel compelled to withdraw from these social activities that define our culture and bring us together. Our communities deserve to be safe spaces where people can live freely, enjoy their lives, and embrace their heritage without fear. We cannot allow a small group of criminals to dictate how we live our lives. It is not the citizens who should be locking themselves away. It is the criminals who should be denied their freedom of movement and the privileges they have abused. We are committed to restoring the peace and security that every Jamaican deserves. Together, we will win this battle. Not just through force, but by winning the hearts and minds of the people. The safety and well-being of our communities are our top priorities, and we will stop at nothing to reclaim our streets and restore our way of life. Despite the progress we have made in arresting key gang leaders and disrupting their operations, we know that the work is not over. These criminal networks have deep roots and a willingness to adapt and evolve in the face of adversity. But we are equally determined and resolute in our efforts to dismantle them, no matter how long it takes. Our teams are working around the clock, gathering intelligence, conducting targeted raids, and pursuing every available lead. We will not relent in our pursuit of the remaining targets identified in our workbook. These individuals will be pursued and brought to justice as we continue to chip away at the foundation of these gangs. Our partnership with the military has been instrumental in amplifying our capabilities and resources. Together, we are employing a multi-pronged approach that combines intelligence-driven operations community engagement, and a relentless pursuit of those responsible for violence. Rest assured, the security forces will not rest until we have restored a sense of normalcy and security in our communities. We are in this for the long haul, and we will not back down in the face of adversity. Your safety and well-being are our driving force and we will stop at nothing to achieve our goal of a safer, more peaceful Jamaica. Thanks for watching. This was a My View TV production. Remember to share, like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, tell a friend for tell a friend, and remember, it never bring nobody forward for cheer for you. What good?